Hey guys, Sasha for netbooknews.com and as you can tell, uh, I'm kind of collecting tablets recently. So over here we have the very first Apple iPad 1. I got this back in April last year. Um, that's the original Asus iPad Transformer, the first generation. The new one is just coming to the market very soon. Um, that's a fantastic Samsung Galaxy Tab. 8.9 inch, super thin, super light, great build quality. There is a reason why Apple tries to ban this device. And uh, that's my favorite at the moment, the Sony Tablet S. It's a very unique Android tablet and I heavily customized the whole Android OS. I should show this to you uh, in an additional video. And over here we have the Acer Iconia 500, a very, yeah, inexpensive device, great build quality, brushed aluminum case and something that I can also recommend to you. But I don't want to talk about 10 inch devices, I want to go back with you to September 2010. And uh, oops, that was Mr. Autofocus uh, having a little hiccup. Um, that's the Samsung Galaxy Tab, the original one that got introduced in September 2010 at IFA in Berlin. And I'm, I'm using it since then, and I still love um, the seven inch form factor. And about two weeks ago, I did a complete overhaul of uh, the launcher, um, the installed apps, and I would like to give you a little walkthrough how I reanimated this device and brought it uh, into, I was close to say 21st century. Uh, into uh, late 2011. So um, let me see, we should zoom in a little bit. Hold on. Uh, that works. Okay. So first of all, what I'm using here is um, the Go Launcher. Hold on, let's go back to my home screen. Over here, that's uh, uh, my home screen that I'm using. Um, I have um, the Go Launcher weather widget, which is uh, very popular. Oops, that was the alarm clock. Let's go to weather. That was very popular on smartphones. So it's just checking here the weather, and uh, I can see also um, a detailed forecast for the next seven days. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay. And I, of course, I can also, you know, just click to the next days. Okay, let's, let's go back. That, that's all available for free on the Android market. Um, over here I'm using the Smooth Calendar widget because I just love the way it looks. It's small, it's easy to rearrange on my home screen. Also freely available on uh, the marketplace and it's connected over the calendar with the original Samsung calendar. So as you can see Right, I have a nice little list here. I can see all my schedules, meetings, and whatever. Uh, down here, I have the Google Plus widget. I'm using Google Plus quite a lot. Don't update it right now. There is no widget anymore for non-honeycomb devices, which kind of sucks right now. And over here, I uh, have um, the Google Music player. And uh, I've been uploading a bunch of albums to the cloud and um, as you can see it works just perfectly when I want to stream it. Let's get a little bit. Linton Crazy Johnson, one of the famous reggae poets from England. Here we go. So that works perfectly on the Anyways, we're not doing a mu music show over here. So that's that's basically my home screen. Let's go back here to the Go Launcher. And down here, I have a browser. And I'm using, of course, the Dolphin Browser HD with a couple of plugins. Uh, I have a plugin for killing all the apps in the background. I have a plugin to the Google services over here. So you can see I can easily access all the Google services that are available on the on the web. Um, I have another plug-in for uh, switching in between mobile mode and desktop mode. Uh, what was this? That's a speed dial, so you can put some favorites on there. 
but I have the favorites over here. And on this side you can also have all your bookmarks. So I really, really love this browser. It's fast, uh, uh, it's supporting all the different codecs and it, it just works with the, with the plugins. Uh, then of course I have a connection to the Gmail apps, um, a connection, a little shortcut to my calendar and to um, that's uh, the application settings, obviously. Uh, plus I have an Android market connection over here. I have uh, again a Google service uh, short link and a couple of folders. This one is just for all the different messaging apps. I'm using WhatsApp and chat on, on, on here mainly. Uh, I have a little folder for uh, different magazines that I'm reading. Whether it's here for example the Marvel comic reader works perfectly on this device. As you can see that's pretty cool. And uh, let's go back to the home screen maybe I should make this my standard selection that helps and I have a little folder here for the different games that I'm playing on this device and you can also tell oops let's go back here when I'm uh, going to the app screen this is also customized that's a little theme uh, from GoX um, that is customizing the different icons giving it this kind of green look right? As you can see, uh, that looks pretty decent. I really like this theme. On the left side, well, I constantly have to stay up to date with the news, so um, I'm using this Epi Geeks. So over here I have different widgets for top news, Android market, smartphone, tablets, and Google, uh, and I'm using the Epi Geek widget. Not the Epic Geek widget, but the Epic Geek uh, application. Right, so uh, that's pretty decent if you uh, want to use little news widgets for different topics. And on this side, I also have widgets from BBC News and from CNN, so I can stay up to date with the world news. Okay, and on the right side, I'm using this little widget from also Go Theme, which gives me uh, immediately access to all the important settings, as you can see. Right, and uh, switch on. Oh no, sorry, that was the top brightness. Here we go. So that's very handy. Uh, I have a little bookmark and navigation widget. I can switch in between bookmarks and this navigation that also gives you a couple of short links to popular websites over here and I can easily access the websites that I'm uh, constantly surfing on. So we have carrypad.com, lilliputing.com and all our other uh, websites of our network and over here is my little doc folder. I'm using the widget for Google Docs. I have um, cloud syncing software, Dropbox, SugarSync. I have a file manager, which I really like. It's a very simple one. It's also freely available. And, uh, okay, let's go back here. Um, Think Free Office was pre-installed on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. I'm using the WordPress widget. And in here, I'm using TripIt, just to stay on top of all my travel links. And I have another traveling widget in here. Uh, of course, you can also customize all the different effects. Um, let me show you a different transition effect here. And now you have this little cube animation. And as you can tell, um, the performance of it is pretty neat. I mean, this is a Cortex A8 tablet. It's over a year old. It's using a one gigahertz single core processor. But I tell you what, since I've been really taking care of it again and uh, looking for the white widgets, I absolutely reanimate the Samsung Galaxy Tab. It's all for free. What I'm using over here, go to the Android Marketplace, you know, look it up. And if you have a device like this, and there will also be a new ViewSonic ViewPad 7E 
a very very cheap uh, way below 200 US dollar tablet available very soon and you could do exactly the same like a what I did with my Samsung Galaxy Tab. The very first Samsung Galaxy Tab with the Go launcher and a couple of tweaks and cool widgets. I'm Sascha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.